Hi everyone, welcome back to my lab and today's video in which I'm going to tell you all about attending the makeup show for my first time here in Chicago. It was an excellent experience. I only went for one day but it was a really good experience and I decided to purchase makeup that I wouldn't be able to find you know at Sephora or Ulta so I focused on other brands that I wouldn't be able to find elsewhere. I picked up a lot of goodies, I spent quite a bit of money but I see it as a souvenir of the occasion and I just wanted to share both my haul and experience with you today. Before we get into it, if you're new here, I'm Jordi. I hope you'll enjoy my video and my channel and consider subscribing for three brand new videos every single week on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 9 a.m. Central. Now let's go ahead and get into my makeup show haul. So first of all, the makeup show is kind of a trade show for makeup artists. It's geared more towards the professional makeup artist and in order to purchase a ticket, typically you have to show that you are a working makeup artist and that you do makeup on other people. Now I occasionally do makeup on other people People for dance performances and stage makeup and things like that but my primary source of income isn't makeup artistry and so I don't really feel like I'm a makeup professional I'm much more of a makeup enthusiast and of course I do enjoy creating YouTube videos around makeup and beauty but as such I never really tried to attend the makeup show and this time around my friend here from YouTube Jessica Kent she invited me to go with her she was gonna be a guest of Muse Beauty Pro they invited her as their guest and she was able to purchase a buddy pass and she invited me which was so incredible and that was definitely the highlight of the experience was meeting her in person she's an absolute doll I love her so much I have talked about her here on my channel several times and we did a couple of collaborations we even talked about doing one in person because I mean we're both in the Chicago area and we live really not that far away from each other but I was able to attend for the first time thanks to her and meeting her was just incredible she's a doll if you haven't subscribed to her channel I highly recommend it. She has a very small channel like myself, but she is a working professional makeup artist. She is also an artist artist. She's a painter and she really understands colors really well. She's very creative in her artistry. Highly recommend. In any case, we started our trip at Muse Beauty Pro since she was their guest and she introduced me to a couple of people there and they were incredible. Like they were really kind to me and welcoming and they answered all my questions. She got her makeup done by Sheila Kett, which is the owner founder of Cut Cosmetics she created a beautiful eyeshadow look while she was getting her makeup done there I definitely shopped around at Muse Beauty I've bought things from Muse Beauty online a lot of busy art palettes the Grand Pro 1 and Grand Pro 2 palettes and so I couldn't resist but adding a little bit to my collection and so I went for the Grand Pro 3 palette I knew I was gonna buy this baby eventually and at the makeup show it was available at a professional discount and so I was able to save a little money as well but even so I would have bought it full price I bought the others full price both from Muse Beauty and here she is this was my absolute first purchase the minute I knew I was going to the makeup show I knew that I was gonna buy this one so it comes inside a sleeve and here you have the palette the Viseart Grand Pro volume 3 it opens up like so are these colors not stunning they have true primary shades they are beautiful beautiful colors you can definitely see color stories in the column but you can mix and match as you will it's just a beautiful beautiful palette i love the viseart matte formula it's one of my favorite matte eyeshadow formulas and guess what <laughs> i got to meet anastasia of viseart I took a picture with her. She was so down to earth and genuine and she sat and chatted with us for a while and it was just, it was a really great experience. I'm not gonna lie, I went a little fangirl for a little bit, but it was just amazing to meet her. She's the founder and creator of the Busy Art Eyeshadow Palettes. I'm gonna put a picture so that you can see. It was just amazing to meet her and the team at Muse Beauty was really great. I will of course showcase the palette on my channel at a later time. Uh, if you're interested in seeing it right away, Jessica did a complete swatch video similar to how I would do my swatch videos and she created a lot of beautiful looks around this palette I will definitely leave her channel linked down below if you're in a rush to see this baby in action definitely check her out I will also link the products from Muse Beauty in the description box in case you want to pick up any for yourself Definitely recommend the Viseart palette. Definitely recommend their brushes, especially the Esam S33, as well as the Mixing Medium 
amazing products and Jessica does have an affiliate link so I'll put her affiliate link in the description box it'd be a nice way to support a small creator and a makeup artist and it doesn't cost you any additional money now just like I mentioned the Isam brushes I couldn't resist but pick one up and I didn't have this one this is the W19 and I thought that it would be really good for detailed eye work like if I'm creating a cut crease or something like that because it's a little bit flat and pointed so I think that it's a brush that will allow me to do great detailed eye work. This is how the Isam brushes come packaged. They are in these little sleeve. They're kind of like pencil pouches with a kind of Ziploc closure at the top. I recommend any of the Isam brushes. It was such a joy to see them all in person. I don't own the full collection, but they had their brush books. They had all of the brushes and all of the different uh, bristle types, both natural hair as well as their Taclon fibers just it was great it was a great experience there I also visited Cosette Cosette is a brand that I've heard a lot of in on YouTube but it's not a brand that is carried at any of you know my local makeup stores that bag kind of played with my white balance but in any case Cosette's not a brand that I typically find here in Chicago anywhere and I think that it was Samantha Ravendahl had a custom palette that she filled with her Cosette shadows and they had their shadows on display and and they were like $13 a piece for the singles but they had palettes which I think were like 33 so typically palettes are the more affordable way to go so I decided to pick up a palette they had a couple variations they had one that was mixed metallics and mattes they had one that was just mattes but they geared a little bit more towards the cool tones and then they had an all metallic palette which is what I decided to pick up here's what the palette looks like it's got kind of like a faux leather finish and here are the shades beautiful beautiful metallic eyeshadows i cannot wait to get these on my eyes a lot of the shades that are in the palette are the shades that i was drawn to in the display of single shadows anyway like the green this blue this metallic red called passion look at this amethyst here beautiful 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 colors i can't wait to play with them i'm really glad that they had some neutrals as well as some of the more jewel tones i just i'm glad i decided to go with the palette because it really made more sense and it was really the metallics that were impressing me anyways the mattes felt great but i did buy the all matte palette at viziart and so i decided to go with an all shimmer one from cosette now there was a large stand this one takes up the whole screen but it's friends beauty and this is an online makeup retailer again for professional makeup artists you can purchase from there um, if you're just a regular person as well but they do have a pro artist discount and they carried Stilazi and when I was there I picked up a couple of more Stilazi brushes so these are the two that I picked up one is called the straight liner brush and the other one is the mini shader brush s21 so similar to the Isam brush I picked up these are focused more on detail work and then these with the white handles are of their synthetic style of bristles and I thought again for really detailed eye work like cut creases and things like that would be really nice to have these brushes when I ordered the Jordan Liberty palette which they had there by the way I ordered a couple of brushes from their line from the natural bristle collection and I like them I thought they were really good brushes so I wanted to try these two they had a little bit of a special on lashes where they were I think three for twenty dollars and I picked up a couple of styles this is the first style and it is called Vegas Baby Maybe. I think these are the more bold style lashes these are really good for halo style eyes because they're in little clusters and they're in the style dolled up and last but not least we have some wispy winged styled lashes which were recommended by the girl that was working the booth and these are in the style allure I can definitely tell that I'm going to have to trim these but the styles look really good and I'm really curious to try them out they were also giving out free shadows if you showed that you followed them on Instagram I had already been following them on Instagram and so they gave me two free single shadows from Stilazi the green one here neon green is a pearl shadow in the shade PS 35 and I also picked up a matte shadow and this one is MS 04 it's more of a pink tone shadow so I have a couple of single shadows from Stilazi I did try their formula in the Jordan Liberty palette and I really enjoyed that one really liked it 
So that was everything I picked up from Friends Beauty, but as a brand, they do carry other brands. They had Melt Cosmetics, they had Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, they had other things, but again, I wanted to focus on those things that I couldn't get just anywhere. Another store I visited that I never heard of was this one called Alcone Company. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but they have so many cute sayings on this. It's like, clean brushes make your face happy, highlight responsible, the only rule in makeup is there are no rules, and so on. It's a really cute bag. I like that. Like Friends Beauty, they carried a variety of things. They had Beauty Blender. They had Viseart there as well. Um, they had a couple of different brands. But again, I wanted to focus on those special items. So from that store, I went to uh, the Lemonhead. And these are called Space Jam and Space Paste, I think. They're in these little pots. They are glitters and I cannot wait to try these out. It's funny because they were having like a special where you could get, I think it was six for 120 and it was the most affordable way to get them. So Jessica and I picked out three each and we split the cost, which was great. I was immediately drawn to this green one. I swatched it and it just looks incredible. Oh my goodness, look at this. It has multi-dimensional glitter and I understand that these are eye safe which is really important. I'm super excited about this because our next dance costume for our next piece is going to be neon green and I think that a lower lash line with this like really smoked out. It's a similar look to what Jessica received at the makeup show at the Muse Beauty counter. I'm kind of really inspired by that and I want to replicate it but putting this on the lower lash line I think it will look great. I can't wait to play with that if you want to see like maybe a trial of what that makeup look might look like I would be happy to do that now interesting this shade is labeled as an Alcone company limited edition it's in the shade Luz Verde which means green light I also grabbed a couple of other shades so I picked up one that I thought would be a little bit more wearable and applicable for every day this is the shade white rabbit and it is essentially like an iridescent clear. Here's what that one looks like. I'll try to insert swatches of everything so that you can see it better. But it just creates beautiful iridescent and it also has those multi-dimensional types of glitters in there with different sizes. Very excited to play with these. They just look so fun. They're different, right? Not something that you see every single day. I think, I'm not sure if it's Beautylish, but I think Muse Beauty, I think Muse Beauty might might carry these I'm not sure but like I said I'll look up everything and I will link it down below this is the third one that I decided to choose and this one is in the shade Mulholland so here is Mulholland look at that it's a beautiful pink it, oh my gosh it's incredible this would have gone so good with my eye look today Look at that. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to play with these. You have no idea. I think that these are similar to something that ColourPop made. I think ColourPop was intended to dupe this product, but I'm glad I have the original and that was again Space Paste by Lemonhead Los Angeles. I went to a store called Mustav. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it says more than makeup and they make makeup brushes. So they have beautiful handmade brushes. They had three lines. I think they had their pro line, a travel line, and then they had a makeup artist line. And that's the line from which I picked up a couple of, of brushes. And if I remember correctly, the way that you pronounce the artist's name is Kawani. So this is the Kawani number 04 blush brush. And wait till you see these beautiful brushes. It is incredibly soft. Here's the brush. It has a beautiful handle, double pinched ferrule and your bristles of course are uncut bristles this one reminds me of a sort of a little more squat version of the wayne goss airbrush which is my number one favorite brush ever it's a little bit shorter than that and it is incredibly incredibly soft it's an amazingly soft brush and the other one that i decided to pick up was the kawani number no. 05 highlighter brush i think jessica got the exact same brushes they had some larger brushes as well but i mean these were pricey brushes even at the discounted prices so it was difficult for me but i definitely had to exercise some self-control 
well. So here's that highlighter brush. It is similar in shape to the blush brush, but it is a little bit less dense. Similar quality bristles, equal softness. Oh my goodness. I love brushes so much. Goodness help me, I would spend all my money on brushes if I could. Interestingly enough, on the handles, they don't have the name Mustav or Mustav. I'm sorry, I, I really don't know how to pronounce it, but they just have the creator's name, which is Kawani 04 and 05. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful brushes. I can't wait to use these. Of course, I also had to stop by Smith Brushes, and look at this huge bag. Don't let the bag fool you. I didn't buy that much. I did pick up a couple of brushes. I think they had the large bags because they sell their brush folios, but I decided to pick up four face brushes. I did a review of Smith Brushes on my channel in the past, and I wasn't too fond of the eye brushes. I found them a little bit prickly in terms of the brush fibers. And even though I think they function really well, I mean, they blend well because they're a little bit stiffer, they're not my favorite when I'm comparing them with other natural hair brushes. I like to compare apples to apples, oranges to oranges, and you know, these are natural hair brushes, so I'm comparing them to other natural hair brushes, and they're just not up to the standard that other brushes are. I don't know if I'm making any sense but my Smith Cosmetics review is up on my channel but I did enjoy their face brushes and their bronzer brush number 112 is one of my absolute favorites so I wanted to try out a couple of other brushes and so I picked some up these feel great by the way absolutely terrific I focus on white haired brushes because you can use them with creams and powders the first one I grabbed is the 154 and it's kind of a very large flat face brush. It's very soft, tapered at the top, beautiful brush. I thought it would be good for bronzer, contour, just different type of face powder applications. Very soft brush. I also selected the 157 and if you can see this one has an angle to it. I thought this one would be perfect to blend out cream contour. I do enjoy cream contouring and because of that sort of beveled edge. I thought it would be really good for that. You can also use it for cream blushes. You can use it for anything obviously. You can set the under eye if you like to bake as well. I thought it was a really interesting shape, very different from other things in my collection. So that was the 157. I also have the Smith 115. And I thought this one would be really good for foundation. They had a larger version of this one, but I had in the back of my mind how much I enjoy my Luxie contour brush for foundation. And so I thought that this one would be a good size. And also, since it's smaller, be a little bit more versatile than having just a big giant brush. Not to mention it was more affordable since it's smaller, but very soft. This one is very dense, so I can definitely see it being appropriate for cream foundation application. And the very last one is the one this one looked to me to be a good highlighting brush because of its shape. It has an asymmetric shape, sort of angular, and you can definitely highlight there. Kind of like the Fenty Beauty brush, but a lot less dense. And it just looks like perfect for highlighting. You can definitely use it for contour as well. Any brush you can use for any purpose, whatever you see fit. But very soft, very interesting shape. So those were the four brushes I picked up at Smith Cosmetics and I can't wait to use them. Last but not least, I stopped by the Danessa Myricks Beauty booth and she had a huge collection there. Now they carry Danessa Myricks Beauty at Beautylish I believe but they don't have the whole line. Her line is incredibly extensive and it was amazing to see it all there on display. Her booth was really busy so was Smith, so was Muse. They were really busy. Everybody was, I think those were like the really like headliner booths. Muse and Smith and Danessa Myricks. So I'm glad I got to go to all of them. In any case, they don't carry her whole line and it was really amazing to see the entire collection there displayed so you can swatch and play with everything. She had a workshop that was being hosted that day but it was completely sold out which is completely unsurprising since she's so talented. I did see her from far and I snapped a photo. I won't show that one because it wasn't really a posed photo or anything like that. I just wanted to keep it to know that I saw her. And um, yeah, anyway, I picked up a couple of items from her line and it is the waterproof cream palettes. And these are really like cream eyeshadows 
or cream bases and what really got me was the waterproof part <laughs> because you all know me and how I have my really watery eyes and how I struggle with eyeshadows at times so I picked up two of these palettes now the palettes are kind of magnetized kind of like Inglot shadows would be and here are the cream bases they're kind of sweating a little bit but I want you to be able to see look at these beautiful colors they are just gorgeous I figured if I wanted any eyeshadow to pop just put them over one of these and there we go and the color selection is really great because you've got a couple of pinks you have blue purple red and green really touching on all your bases it would have been nice to have a yellow as well but these are really really great I like the packaging as well in that they're magnetized like that it reminds me of the Inglot system for their eyeshadows I picked these up for $25 a piece which I thought was a great deal because these are typically more expensive so I got a second one this one is the cream palette the original one that I just showed you is the vivid palette and then I have this one. This one is called the Metallic Palette. Wait till you see this one. Look at these shades. Are these not just smoky, delicious goodness here? Look at these. Oh my gosh, so, so beautiful. Now these do have a metallic finish, but even so you can still use them as bases. And uh, I love the colors. <laughs> They're Get It Girl, Mogul, Fearless, Girl Power, CEO, and Gold Digger. <laughs> really interesting. But I love these and I don't know but I feel like I got some really unique products definitely unique another thing that was going on Miss Fame was giving a presentation I snapped a photo of her as well I think I can show that one as well it was from a little bit further away but you can see her she was giving more like a motivational speech about makeup and self-image if I'm not mistaken but Jessica and I were running all over the place making sure we had every single booth and we didn't get to see the whole speech but we caught the tail end which was nice so we definitely try to squeeze as much as possible into our day overall it was a really pleasant day and you know I'm happy to share something really positive about the beauty community because when I went there I, I was intimidated at first I wasn't happy with the way my makeup look I went with something really neutral and I'm like oh people are gonna be judging me today and it was nothing like that it was a very welcoming environment and everyone was so positive and complimentary of one another it felt really good to be there it was a really positive experience Jessica got tons of compliments on her makeup both the one that she did herself as well as the one that was done at Muse beautiful beautiful makeup and then for some reason everybody seemed to like my outfit especially my sweater which was a fuzzy sweater everybody kept wanting to pet me and I was like oh you've been swatching with those hands because it was like a beige sweater but I was just kidding it was fine and it was really funny because ordinarily you know I'm not that outgoing with strangers but yet that day everybody was just like petting me and it, it was funny it was funny and it was a good experience overall but that's everything for my haul and my little story I know I was kind of all over the place but hopefully you get an idea of how the uh, makeup show was and it was just really great to meet some artists meeting Anastasia from Viziart was incredible and meeting the team at Muse was incredible seeing Danessa Myricks was incredible the whole thing the whole thing was just amazing and I would love to go again and I owe a big thanks to Jessica because if it wasn't for her I wouldn't have gotten to go and yeah it was it was a great great day we had so much fun and it was wonderful to meet in person but I'm gonna cut myself off for now I still want to swatch these palettes so that you can see everything up close I won't swatch the busy art one because that one is huge but I'll swatch the others I definitely want you to see how the Danessa Myricks and the lemon head and how everything looks so I'll have those inserted in the video you'll have seen them already but that's everything if you have any questions or any comments on anything of what I bought or if you've tried any of these products I really think I picked some things that were out there you know not things that you see coming and going every single day at Sephora there's some really unique stuff here and I can't wait to play be sure and let me know in the comment section down below how you'd like to see the products featured whether you'd like to see a first impression or you know whatever the case may be my makeup right now is the result of a first impression that one will be live on Tuesday so stay tuned if you're interested in seeing that little adventure um, but other than that that's everything for me today thank you so much for spending a few minutes of your day with me I hope you enjoyed it if so 
Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for me. I really appreciate your support of me and my channel always. Hopefully you're doing really well and I look forward to seeing you again very, very soon on my next one. Bye-bye.